Hi, my name is Jenny. I'm here to do a currently reading video. Um, I haven't done the video for a long time. It was probably uh, last year about this time uh, that I did my last video. So for today's video, I will be discussing five books in total. The first book is a memoir. It's called A Bed of Red Flowers in Search of My Afghanistan by Nelifer Pazira. Um, I'm in the midst of reading chapter 4 of the book, which begins with a quote from W.B. Yeats. Hurrah for revolution and more cannon shot. A beggar upon horseback lashes a beggar on foot. Hurrah for revolution and cannon come again. The beggars have changed places, but the lash goes on. In the first few chapters, the author provides a picture of growing up in a fairly well-off family. Her father is a doctor and her mother a teacher. She describes life under a communist government and Soviet occupation that began in 1978 and into, goes into the 1980s. Nelfer joined an underground resistance group as a teenager and left Afghanistan with her family as refugees. They fled to Pakistan and later settled in Canada. She later also returns to Afghanistan after many years in search of her childhood friend. That's about all I can say about the book so far. I'm, like I said, I'm only in the first few chapters. And um, it's a book I got last year from a used bookstore. N not a used bookstore. I used a, a book sale with proceeds going to a literacy uh, program in the city I live in. Well, the next book in uh, this video I will discuss is uh, City of Dark Magic, a fantasy novel by Magnus Flight. I think that's how to say his name. City of Dark Magic by Magnus Flight. Well, City of Dark Magic is the first book in the series by Magnus Flight. It's about music student Sarah Weston. She finds a job cataloging Beethoven's manuscripts at Prague Castle in the Czech Republic. When she arrives, she learns that her mentor may not have committed suicide after all. She gets involved in a secret chase with a time-traveling prince, a 400-year-old dwarf, and a U.S. Senator with a secret to hide. Conan O'Brien, the comedian and television host, quote is on the front cover. The next novel I will discuss is Farewell, My Lovely by Raymond Chandler. I read Chandler's first novel, The Big Sleep, last year ahead of seeing it performed on stage in my city. Um, I remember it um, fairly well. It's a, a classic uh, um, film noir style um, novel. After a few months, I'm ready to read the next book in the series featuring Detective Philip Marlowe. Um, the book is called Farewell, My Lovely, and it is about the gambling circuit in L.A. where the novel is set. He stumbles upon a murder and the book involves three beautiful but potentially deadly women. Published in 1940, I'm reading the novel from a bind-up of Chandler's first three novels, The Big Sleep, Farewell, My Lovely, and The High Window. Along with uh, reading um, mostly print books, I'm also reading or listening to a fantasy novel, The Star Touch Queen by Roshani Chosky, um, in audio book format. So, uh, The Star Touch Queen is a YA fantasy novel 
uh, by Roshani Chosky. It is based on um, Indian folklore, and the story uh, centers around Maya, a 17-year-old princess um, who, um, whose father, the Raja, arranges a marriage of political convenience for her. Though she thinks about running away at first, she um, uh, eventually accepts the role of queen of the new kingdom and wife to Amar. She gains power and voice in her new role, but she must also uh, deal with the secrets that the kingdom holds. For the fifth and final book, I'm picking a non-fiction book. I started the video with a non-fiction book and I'm ending this video with another non-fiction book. It's called Subdivided, City Building in an Age of Hyperdiversity, edited by Ch J. Pitter and jo John Lorick. So I was supposed to finish Subdivided for a book club that I joined um, at a local uh, bookstore. Um, it is a, a book club on urban affairs in my city, and I guess uh, we were able to discuss urban um, affairs, urban planning, um, from a variety of different sources. It doesn't have to be specifically uh, centered around my city. And so this book, Subdivided, is about um, diversity and community in Toronto. It is a collection of essays that explores city building in Canada's largest city. And so far, um, I've enjoyed a few essays of, about from uh, diverse cultural and cultural backgrounds about their experiences living in Toronto, which is I get uh, Toronto, uh, Canada's largest city. Um, I look forward to reading the rest of the. Uh, book and perhaps in the future uh, be able to uh, tell you more about the book or discuss the book further in a future video. Um, I guess that's it for uh, me for and for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed listening to my current reads and perhaps in a future video I'll go in more in depth in uh, the books that I um, reading so far. Um, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!